Okay, on this video I want to show you on a real steep grade, you know, this is about 10 miles of 6% downgrade where you're going to really need your engine brakes. Uh, the road, you know, it's nice condition, but it's obviously winter. I'm kind of down, uh, well, I'm heading into Vail, Colorado, actually heading west on the 70. Um, I make these videos because a lot of people, they just don't understand the automatic transmission. They feel more comfortable maybe with a 8, 10, or 13 speed. But here's the automatic. Uh, I'm full right now of water. I've got 80,000 80, pounds right now. And I've got a DD15 engine with the brand new automatic. Now, since I'm so heavy, I've got all three positions down on engine brakes, which means all six cylinders are holding me back. Um, if you look at the dash, right around 2,000 to 2,200 RPM. Um, I've called Detroit and asked them, you know, what's the comfort level on high revving these babies when the engine brakes are on. And they said, you know, uh, just a little over 2,000. If it gets to about 23 to 2,400 RPM on the dash, it'll say reduce RPM or reduce throttle. Um, and right now, you know, never ride the brake. If you smell brakes on the way down, you're probably riding the brake, especially if you're a new driver. You kind of get a little nervous. You know, you got 80,000 pounds. Okay, I'm going a little fast on purpose now. Here I go. Now, when I hit the brake, I hit it hard. Don't baby it. Okay, one, two, three. Don't be, don't be scared of that, that service brake, okay? And if you're going to use it, don't use it lightly because it's going to warm up the brakes and make them smell and you might even lose the brakes. So when you're going downhill, my rule of thumb is just hit them pretty hard for about three seconds and then let them off, let them cool down, let the engine safely get you down the hill here because I really don't even use the brakes with the engine brakes on right now. You can hear the RPMs. Right now I'm about a comfortable, about a 21, 2200 RPM. Definitely get in the far light, right lane and put your hazards on. Uh, this UPS guy, he doesn't have them on and, and that's fine, I guess, but anytime I go downhill and I need engine brakes, I just, I put the, the hazards on. And obviously when you go up a hill at 45 miles an hour or less, you should put your hazards on. It just helps out. You know, all of us truckers, we're kind of pretty used to how we all drive, but I put them on mostly for passenger vehicles. Uh, there's a lot of soccer moms and a lot of people on their phones texting. They're just not paying attention to us So with the hazards on sometimes it just gets their attention a little better Okay, so right now I'm about halfway down All right runaway truck ramp. Hopefully you never have to use one of those If you do it's pretty expensive and it goes against your driving score and it's <laughs> it's not good But you know what if you feel unsafe by all means use it better safe than sorry Okay, so right now I'm gonna hit the brakes. Okay, listen, one, two, three. Okay, I was able to slow myself up about 10 miles an hour. I was about 2100 RPM, and I put me back down to about 1800. You can kind of hear by, hear probably the RPMs. Look out for people, snowboarding, and oh, what's it called, I cross country skiing. A lot of people off the sides of the roads just taking pictures of the scenery but anyway I just wanted to show another example of just using, using your engine brakes and how safe the automatic transmission can be the trick is at the very top you know don't be hauling ass over you know don't be going like 55 miles an hour on the top of the hill and then then slow yourself up then start using the engine brakes if you have to you know just go like 30 miles an hour there's no rush just take your time and like I said, I, I prefer about 2,000 RPM. That's kind of the sweet spot. It's a lot of torque. If you look at your owner's manual, you're generating anywhere from about 1,800 to 2,000 pounds of torque on these DD15s. And there's different models, of course, the 13s and, and whatnot. Just look at your owner's manual. If you don't have one, it's all free online. But you want to know your truck. And if you got manual gears, then you know use them accordingly. But a lot of people, I can tell, when they drive in front of me, they're riding the brake. You can see that the brake pedal's on the whole time. And they might be pressing it just like a half inch. But don't ride the brake pedal. Not in these semi-trucks. You'll, you'll heat them up, and you'll smell them, even in the wintertime. It don't matter what. But if you light them up, they're totally ineffective. You'll get down to the bottom, and you'll panic. 
Okay, right now I'm just gonna do one more example of hitting the brake real quick, okay? Okay, right now I'm at 21, 2200 RPM. Okay, now watch how easy it is. One, two, three. Now I'm hitting it pretty good. You know, it slows you up nicely. And then I go another mile or two and just let the brakes cool. That way you never lose the effectiveness. And right now, I'm, I don't know what the, what the grade is right here, maybe two to four. But it gives you a false sense of security. Even the sign up there, it'll, it'll tell the truckers. It's like, don't be foolish and think that the, the six to 10 mile downgrade is over. Because sometimes in the middle of the downgrade, it'll go smooth for about like a half mile and then it'll go another six miles. So, you know, be prepared. I keep, like I said, I keep my emergency flashers on. All right, you know, read the signs too. Lost brakes, do not exit, stay on 170. And know your mile markers too. On the side of the freeway, sometimes if you break down, you want to know where you're at. Hopefully you have cell phone coverage or the CB's working, of course. Always run a CB. I know people are mostly ornery on it and just all they do is swear and sound like a bunch of assholes, but the CB is super important. Always, always put a CB in your truck. Never know when you need it. Because cell phones are, you know, if you don't have a cell, a cell site or a cell signal you're screwed but yeah always know what mile marker you're on like right now I'm passing mile marker 206 so if I break down I I can at least say I'm on the 70 206 and then of course you want to know what city you're in so all right well this is just like textbook advice uh, hopefully these videos help I, I like to just do any type of video I can possibly think of so anyway take it easy and just, you know, don't be afraid to hit the brake pedal, okay? So see the guy just is getting on the freeway? One, two, three. Just hit your brakes nice, and look at that. It slows you up real good. Yeah, I got plenty of brake pedal left coming down 6 to 10 miles on a 3% or a 6% grade. All right, man, you guys take it easy. I'll see you next video.